actually, Kala Holdings is looking in East Africa, mm -hmm. um, and Egypt, of course, as well. Um, where else are you looking to invest? The, the, the countries where we have assets today are, you know, from, from north to south is Egypt, Sudan, South Sudan, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Uganda. And we have also assets in Algeria. Uh, uh, but there are certain other countries in East Africa, notably Tanzania and Mozambique, who are extremely interesting. In my view, Anybody who is looking at Africa and is not looking at Mozambique and Tanzania is making a big mistake. The, the, the gas reserves and the oil reserves uh, uh, on the east part of Africa are going to, do, to be a game changer, not only for those two countries, but for the global energy implications over the next probably 30, 40 years. You've said that investing in Africa means greater risk for greater reward. But what we're talking about here, we're talking about corruption. We're talking about violence in some cases, even terrorism, and now Ebola, a potentially life-threatening disease. How is Kala Holding prepared to manage those risks? Corruption, we have a zero tolerance for corruption for a very simple reason. If you look at uh, who finances uh, Kala Holdings, Kala Holdings is being financed by DFIs and ECAs. The minutes there is something that is irregular, those guys will stop funding. So that is, that takes care of that part. And yes, we had, I'm not saying that it did not happen, but you know, you, you learn to walk away from those deals and you, you say, you know, this is not something that I'm willing to do and you walk away. So that, that's an easy part. Uh, uh, as far as Ebola, obviously, uh, uh, the, it's a, a very serious uh, con a concern that uh, the world is taking on uh, over the, the next period of time. Uh, let's hope that containing uh, uh, the spread into those three countries uh, 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 is, is what Guinea, Sierra Leone especially, uh, 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 is what uh, uh, is taking place. And let's hope that nothing uh, uh, gets transmitted outside of this area and and let's concentrate on fighting Ebola in in those places it's a serious concern but something that you know it's you, you have to to try to manage the risks that you you have and and you know uh, some risks are are you know what can you do about Ebola that is uh, I'm not in those in in, in, in those countries but uh, there is few few things that you can do. Uh, as far as uh, violence, there are certain places where you, you learn not to go. You know, and, and you know, uh, Kenya for us uh, uh, it was, was a very good place. Uganda was uh, a very good place. And I, I did not see... South Sudan is the only place where we had to stop our operations and to get people out of the country because uh, uh, the safety of people. We have a very simple rule, Hadley, regarding where we do business. If I am not willing to go to those countries, nobody goes. That's the s simple rule. If I am willing to go into those countries, then we do business in them. And that's, th th that's a good litmus test.